Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for sales order report and in the previous video, we finished with the field catalog part. So our field catalog is in this internal table. Our data is in this internal table. Now we need to bind our data with this field catalog or we can say in way we need to push our data into the field catalog and you can see clearly this data internal table has six columns. Our field catalog has how many columns? Six columns. So now we all know whenever we want to bind the data with the field catalog we need to use the various function module and it is clearly mentioned whenever we want to display the ALV output we will use this particular function module grid display reuse ALV grid display yes we will go for grid grid we will not go for list we will go for grid and you those who know ALB topic, yes, grid is always preferable as compared to list and manual field catalog method is always preferable as compared to that SAP function module. So we will use this particular function module to display the output in the form of ALB grid, ALB grid. Or we can understand in a way we will use this function module to bind our data with the field catalog. So now I will simply simply go to pattern button because we all know we can call the function module through pattern button. So what is the name of the function module? Reuse ALV grid display. Now, we will bind our data with the field catalog. So, this is the parameter for the field catalog. Never, never forget to uncomment exporting first. So, we will uncomment our field catalog internal table. So, in front of this, we will pass our field catalog internal table. So this is our field catalog internal table. Now our date, sorry, I put in front of layout. So we pass our field catalog. Now in which internal table you have the data? LT underscore file. Now best practice, never, never forget to uncomment the exceptions. Always, always uncomment the exceptions. So I will check the syntax and I will activate. There is no need for write statement now. So I will simply, simply remove this commented logic. I will put this commented logic because so that we can see, yes, we can use essay, we can use function module or we can use class method. Yes, to write the logic and in this particular case, we have written the logic in the class method also. We have written the logic in function module also. So it's total your wish how you want to use. Now, for the best understanding, we will see the output up to this level in the debugging mode. So I will put a breakpoint on first executable statement. This is our first executable statement. I will run the program. I will give the date 23rd August. I will go to desktop 3, most preferable desktop. You can see as of now the object is initial. The object has not created yet. Once this statement will execute, the object will create. I am doing F6. 
Now you can see the object is created. If the object is created, can we call this particular instance method? If you remember, this was a instance method. Now, whatever that date you passed, whatever that date you are passing, it will go to this parameter of the class. Anyways, as of now, we are not going for any name. Now, if I want to go inside this class method, I will do F5. If I simply, simply want to execute this class method, I will do F6. Now, because from 24th till 29th, this is one line, one line. So if I want to go inside this class method, I will do F5 because F5 is step-by-step -step execution. If I do not want to go, I will simply, simply do F6. Anyways, in the previous videos, we covered, yes, this class method or this function module is giving the correct result. So I will simply, simply do F6. Now you can see this class method executed and we got the four records in the internal table. So this is our data. This is our data. And these are the six columns data. These are the six columns. Now I will come on to field catalog internal table. Just see. As of now, field catalog internal table is blank, completely blank. Now, one by one, we are passing the data to work area. From the work area, it will go to field catalog internal table. If I will show you field catalog work area, you can see it is completely blank as of now. Suppose now we are giving column position 1, field name BBELN, and the label we are giving sales document number. Now you can see in the work area 1, VBELN, and what is the description? Sales document number. Now from work area, we are passing to internal table. If I will do F6, now you can see we have first record in the internal table. First record is there. What is column position? One. What is the field name? VBELN. If I will give you the, show you the label also. Sales document number. Now we are clearing the work area. Whenever we will clear the work area, just see everything is blank again. Now, same thing. Now, we'll go for second column. Now, you can see we have two records in the field catalog internal table. Now, we have the third record. Now, we have the fourth record. Now, we after append, we have the fifth record. Now, after append, we have the sixth record in the field catalog internal table. You can see same to same field. One, two, three, four, five, six, because this is the column position. And these are the labels which we provide. So, this is field catalog internal table. This is our data internal table. And we use this particular function module to display the output you can understand or you can understand in a way we binded the data with the field catalog. So if I will simply do F8 and come out, you can see this is our ALB. This is ALB. It is ALB grid. If I will extend, you can see in ALB grid, you can expand the width of the column. You can increase or decrease the width of the column. Everything is in our hand. These labels, we gave these labels by text symbols. And these labels, we gave manually, we provided the labels. 
So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we used reuse ALB grid display function module to bind our data with the field catalog or you can understand in a way we display the output in the form of ALB with using reuse ALB grid display function module. And we understood the full process in the debugging mode. Now in the next video, we will simply, simply go for modularization technique subroutine for this particular logic because it is never, never acceptable in the project that you will write continuous logic. So for this particular field catalog part, we will use the modularization technique subroutine and you will understand how subroutine modularization technique will minimize this code will make a proper, proper separate module of code itself. So now that's it in this particular video. Thank you.